the News Channel 5 Network. This is SCORE on Business. Hi, welcome to SCORE on Business. I'm Pete Hendricks. I'm your host today, a serial entrepreneur, and wanted to tell you just a moment about SCORE. SCORE is a great uh, organization. We want to see entrepreneurs and small businesses succeed. We have guests here that talk about great things that will be helpful. There's also no charge counseling. There are low-cost classes. Check us out at scorenashville.org. Okay, so let's get, let's move to um, Carol. This is Carol Pinterman. And Carol, your one of your companies is Interim Healthcare. Yes, tell us, tell us briefly about the family of companies. Okay, Interim Healthcare is actually uh, one of the oldest and most widely respected of the in-home personal care and support service companies. Um, it does. Uh, we we do. Um, one of the things that's excep exceptional about the company is the mm -hmm. fact that its caregivers are highly trained. Um, and continued education is provided for them. Oh, so yeah. uh, uh, one thing that differentiates us from the other companies that provide in-home personal care and support is the fact that they are uh, highly skilled, highly trained, and ongoing education yeah. is a major part of our program. But yeah. Interim has been around for almost 50 years. Right. Um, and when I was looking for the right place, when I used to be working for the Nashville Opera, um, I was 18 years as yeah. CEO of the Nashville Opera and decided I wanted to make a change in my life, do yeah. something a little bit different. Yes, yeah, so you, you were with the opera. And one thing when you um, introduced Interim that I really appreciate and that I think that all entrepreneurs need to do is when you said, here's what makes us unique. Yeah. You know, it's really important. And Absolutely. with you all, it's the, the training and, and coaching. So tell us, um, you were, you know, being CEO of the opera is that has to be a lot of fun and a lot of great things. How? Wh why make the change? It doesn't really make total sense to go from from opera to in-home healthcare, does it? Yeah. Yeah. That I've had a lot of people ask me that same question. Uh, basically, I'd been in the the opera field, started as a singer. Yeah. Um, and then I spent uh, about 12 years as a production stage manager, and the final thing I did was uh, 18 years yeah. as CEO of Nashville Opera. And I'd been doing, you know, in the op something in the opera field for about 35 years, yeah. and decided I wanted to do something else. Yeah. Uh, luckily, the opera was in a position. We had just finished the building of the Noah yeah. Opera Center. Um, it was completely paid off, free and clear. I was now making money for the company. <laughs> it was on sound financial footing. And so we decided, uh, my husband and I decided that if there was ever a time for me to step back from that, that this was the right time. So yeah. we took about two years to make a decision of, you know, what am I going to do next? Yeah. So I did, I set myself some goals. I had good for you. And you know, I think it's great. I, I have changed industry several times. And when I learn what I am going to learn about one, I'm ready for something new. Absolutely. I had to laugh to myself. My, my sister is a speech therapist, and one time I fancied myself a singer, and I said, can you help me? And she's, after a little while, she's like, now, you realize you're not going to like be on stage or, <laughs> or anything. Yes, your Broadway <laughs> yeah. career is probably not going to succeed. Sorry. Okay. You know. <laughs> okay, well, hey, we'll go ahead and take a quick break for now. So, hey, everybody, make sure to come on back and we are um, we're going to talk more about her business and, and strategy and it'll be great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 